My name is Stephanie Curry, and I'm the critical care scientist here at Rural Papworth Hospital. I often get asked about my role and what it includes day to day. As a healthcare scientist, one of the things that I enjoy most about my role is how varied it is. There's a good mixture of clinical and non-clinical skills that I would use. For example, within the critical care area, you might find me undertaking procedures with patients, uh, putting lines in, undertaking focused ultrasound scans, looking at cardiac function or lung function, or supporting the medical team with things like bronchoscopy when we're doing tracky procedures. Around the rest of the trust, you also might find me undertaking procedures with patients, mainly from a vascular access point of view, putting PICs in patients uh, on the wards or within the outpatients department. From a non-clinical aspect, I, have a lot of, I provide a lot of support uh, with key medical devices at the patient's bed space. So for example, management and troubleshooting of our uh, clinical monitoring systems, uh, doing audits uh, and troubleshooting for our ventilators, um, and generally supporting uh, with the management of medical devices. Education is also a big part of my role as a critical care scientist, supporting clinical skills development for our junior medical team within the critical care area, and outside of the critical care area as well, supporting with the nursing team to develop, for example, points of care ultrasound skills for vascular access or bladder ultrasound. Um, I also support with the clinical education of uh, our nursing team for the ICU nursing course and the medical students who come through Rural Papworth. So hopefully now you know a little bit more about the role of the critical care scientist. I'm excited to say that we've recently recruited three trainee critical care scientists into Rural Papworth Hospital and we're looking to develop the role further in the future.